that the reason we played a Glee version of Just The Way You Are instead of the original version is because it's a tribute to the late actor Corey Monteith who yesterday died in a hotel suddenly in Vancouver. Uh, and I'd just like to mention to uh, Alicia, thank you for your lovely comment and uh, I do really agree with you. And uh, just like to say I give my condolences out to all of Corey's family and friends and mainly to Leah Michelle. Now, though, it's the time for Radio Walford. You're now listening to Radio Walford, the number one radio station which brings you all the latest news and spoilers from Albert Square, live with Tom Gardiner. Hello and welcome to another brilliantly action-packed episode of Radio Orford. Now due to some news I heard on Digital Spy earlier, I was going to cancel today's episode and air it tomorrow, but I thought the show must go on, why shouldn't it? So I've decided to air it today, and on today's show we have so much to get through you are going to want to stay tuned in. Here's what's happening on today's show. We've got another brilliantly brand new EastEnders Rat Roundup from Python, and we've been given a mention... We've also got an EastEnders discussion about Peggy Mitchell's return and, of course, the return of Ronnie Mitchell later this year. We'll also be discussing about what's happening this summer and, of course, all the way through till this winter. 
There's excellent cast news, and we'll be telling you what's been going to be going on in Walford within the next two weeks. So stay tuned to Radio Walford. <laughs> There has been quite a few changes on what we originally intended to do on today's episode of Radio Warford. This is due to the fact that earlier this week, EastEnders' original star, that's right, original star, Anna Wing, sadly passed away, age 98. So, instead of uh, airing a preview of this week, of Monday night's episode of EastEnders and talking about that, we've decided to pay tribute to her by airing some of her greatest moments on the square. Right. That's you lot sorted out. I can go now. She's not a liar, if that's what you're implying. No one tells lies in this house. Okay. Okay, so what was it doing on a skin? Sitting in the sunshine waiting for a little magpie to come along? It was under some brick. And how did you happen to find it under some brick? Looking. Why? Look, there's no law against looking in skips, I should hope. Yeah, what's the point, officer? It's only a little badge when all's said and done. Also, it's stolen property. Stolen property? Well, really? All the horrible crimes there are around here, and you fiddle about with this? Not exactly the grand jewels, is it? No. But it is of certain interest. Is it indeed? We've reason to believe. Go on. Tell Arthur there's other people who'd like to look at the paper. Arthur, Mum says there are other people who would like to look at the paper. Tell your mother I haven't finished with you. And if other people want a paper, they better go down to the shop and get one like I do. Mum, Arthur said... I heard what he said. Tell him I'm a sick woman. And moreover, we ain't got the extra money to go and buy extra papers because he's too useless to get himself a job. Which is why he can't afford to pay for his own daughter's wedding. Been on the shelf some time by the look of it. You must admit, it's a nice picture, though. Apart from the dogs. Well, anyway, it's, it's by way of a piece of it. To so, say, I'm sorry we gave you a shot yesterday with our uh, news. Yeah, you can keep your peace offering. Look, Mum. There'll be no peace between us till you see sense. But it's happened. The baby's there. I'm sorry, but you just have to get used to it. Oh, will I? I beg your pardon, Arthur, but who says so? Well, nobody. It's just that there ain't any alternative. Oh, ain't there? We'll see about that. What do you mean? You mentioned alternatives, right? Right. Right. Well, the way I look at it, you got free, see? Either you can do the sensible thing and get it seen to now. No. Or you can go ahead and have it and get it adopted. Oh, come on. Or free, you can have it and keep it. But not here. Not here. That's what I'm saying, Arthur. Not here. Add that baby and you can clear out the lot of you. And on the 21st July 2013, we have a Lou Bill Day coming up on our page and we'll be posting up some clips and pictures of her. So do not miss it. It's going to be brilliant if you are a Lou Bill fan. Right, so it's now time to discuss about next week's episodes of EastEnders. On Monday on EastEnders at 8pm on BBC One, Ian manages to get Lucy to sign his businesses back over to him. Oh. My. God. That's right, he tricks Lucy and gets his businesses back, and he also gets Joey to jump Lucy. Yes! And also on Monday, Patrick tells Cora it's over with Betty, and of course he kisses her hand, much to her delight. Also, Kirsty asks Abby to help with her and Max's relationship, but will Abby do it? Will she not? On Tuesday night's episode of EastEnders, Lucy discovers Ian's betrayal. Oh dear, oh dear. Shirley tells Bianca she has received a letter informing her of a benefits cut. Alfie and Roxy host a speed dating night at the Vic to raise funds for the church. Kirsty agrees to go to the speed dating with Kat to try and wind Max up. Carl attempts to remind Kirsty of all the good times they've shared together. And Kat encourages a nervous team to enjoy the speed dating night. But who does he go with? Who does she go with, even? AJ gives Tamar some dating tips at the speed dating fundraiser at the Vic, and of course, uh, let's go on to Thursday nights, because there's quite a bit on Thursday night as well, and 
what an episode we have got for you because Alfie proposes to Roxy. Oh God. And finally, on Friday night's episode, Michael Sheeming starts to affect Janine. Janine has gone all out for Baby Scarlet's birthday, throwing an extremely lavish celebration complete with a pony, caterers and waiters. Michael tells Janine how ridiculous it is, but she warns him to get on board or leave. Later, Janine and Michael start to get along better at the party, and Janine is deeply touched when Michael gives her a bronzing of Scarlet's feet as a present. However, Janine freaks out when she sees a family photograph of Michael, Scarlet and herself, which Alice has just taken. Meanwhile, it's Bobby's birthday and Ian tries to get Lucy on side by saying that Bobby really wants a party. As everyone gathers to celebrate the occasion, Ian is delighted as he seems to be making progress with mending her rela- his relationship with Lucy. However, Lucy re- later realises that she was manipulated into giving Ian another chance. So, that is all that's coming up next week on The Square, so do not miss it, it's going to be absolutely brilliant. Just a quick look at next week's episode of EastEnders, and love blossoms for Jean as she heads off to a date with Ollie Walters. Jean is initially nervous about sharing a romantic picnic with Ollie, but her confidence is boosted when Cat Moon reassures her it'll be time. Later, Jean's date appears to be going well, but the atmosphere turns awkward when Ollie admits that he's a policeman. Oh my god, how cute is that going to be? And they will kiss, so that is what makes it so much better. EastEnders will air these things on Monday the 22nd of July at 8pm on BBC One, and you do not want to miss it, because it is really about time that Jean had a love interest, and how sweet is it going to be? Oh my god. So that'll be, uh, not this week coming, but next week on The Square. So that's all what's coming up in the next two weeks on The Square. Now, though, on Radio Walford, we have the usual. That's right, it's another brilliantly action-packed, awesome, I should say, Rat Roundup from Python. And we've received a mention in this week's, and we're going to play it to you. A big thank you to Jason, who does the Rat Roundups. Um, Thank you very much for your support with our page, and we'll continue to support your Rat Roundups and everything else you do on Facebook, on YouTube, or Twitter, or whatever it is. We'll continue to support you, and be sharing it every single week. So this is his latest Rap Roundup. Yeah. She's confused and feeling scared because Ian tried to give her a friendly pet. So she was feeling upset. She thought that he wants to be more than friends. Seeing that to clear this record up straight and he put Jean right back in her place. But Jean's feeling guilty again because Shirley set his restaurant in flames. Mark used mind games to get to Janine and now she's feeling weak at the knees. So he's back at his evil deeds to get her to fall back in love with him. Hey, back to lie about her and Sam. Dexter sees that she's feeling down. But it's about to go down because he heard them talking and he found out. Looks like Joe's a pimp, love has gone one week, him and Lucy kissed up the rhyme king, that's something to remember, Python, wrap round on East Ends. Thank you Python, and remember folks, you can find him on YouTube by searching East Enders Rap Roundups or searching his channel name, Python Official. You can also find East Enders Debates on there. You can find him on Facebook with both of those pages, East Enders Debates and East Enders Rap Roundups. Or you can find him on Twitter by following at Team Python, and there'll be another Rap Roundup from him next week on Radio Walford. So stay tuned, because after this next song, we'll be back with an East End discussion of Peggy Mitchell and Ronnie Mitchell's big return. We'll be reading out some of your comments and giving a few shout-outs out. We'll be back after this short break. Just mop it. Show these gangsters how you pop lock it. Don't care what you got in your pocket. I beat the way that you rockin' with that thing, thing. Girl, stop it. Wanna just bang, bang and pop it while the club crowd are just watching. Work it out. Got a game of cash and it's going all on the ball. Now work it out. And it's going fast cause I feel like a superstar. Now work it out. And you may not have it, you might have just broke the law. Now work it out. The show turn to grab it and I make this whole thing. 